Hi everyone, my name is Lizzie. Welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about my Ruggable review. So I did a lot of research when we first bought our house and decided I have two German Shepherds. So I figured it would be beneficial for me to have a rug that I could throw in the washer. And that was kind of what triggered me to research uh, rugs and I knew I needed rugs for the slippery floor for them, but also to make it a little bit more homey. And so I figured I would start my research and my research led me to Ruggable. As many of you may know, they're extremely popular and have been kind of on the rise and um, they're sold towards pet owners and parents because kids are messy too. So, so I have both my doggos in here to help you guys understand the amount of hair and wear and tear. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to rhyme. So first things first, we're gonna get into kind of how they work and what I have. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about the pros and cons and just kind of give you guys the details. If you have any questions below, I'm happy to answer. So just comment and we'll jump in. So I'm gonna put my overall rating at the end. So stay tuned. I've got three Ruggables, three different sizes. And the first one that I've got is this one that I'm actually on and it is a nine by 12 and it is called the Cameron Coral. And it's one of their best sellers. I honestly picked it because it goes so well with my couch and the pillows that I had already chosen. So I was excited um, it kind of tied everything in. And so that was one of the main reasons that I picked it. So, okay, by Athena. And anyway, I love this rug. I think that it ties the room together. As you can kind of see, this room is pretty big. So uh, it helps tie the room together, makes it a little bit more homey. And then the second rug that I have, I'll show you guys here. And it is the Thalia Black, and it is the six foot round. So the reason that I got that one is for my entrance, entryway. And you may have recognized it. I, it was in my first video on how to decorate your entryway. And I love it for my entryway. It takes up the perfect amount of space. I'm pre-measured, obviously, definitely pre-measured before you order these rugs. All right, so the second rug that I have is the Marl Harris Cream Rug. I'll put that here. And it is the two and a half by 10 foot runner and it is awesome love that one it is more muted i chose that one just because it was going in a hallway and so it works perfect and we'll talk about that more later okay so let's get into a little bit of the nitty gritty with ruggables i'm going to go through some pros and some cons all right so first things first a pro obviously you can wash it which is incredible uh, we've had accidents, whether it's guests spilling things, whether it's dog accidents, anything, you name it. We have actually thrown the biggest one, this bad boy I'm on, in the washer and it's done amazing. And so we've had it for about six months now and I'm really impressed. It has held up and it comes out looking brand new. So huge prep. So the second pro that I've got is that it doesn't hold on to hair. So earlier I mentioned I have two German Shepherds. So as you know, you may be able to see one of them. He's right here. You may be able to see him, I don't know. But they shed, they shed so much, so much. And so I love them, they're my children, but um, I don't love the hair. And one thing I love about these rugs is they come clean. They, uh, they don't cling to the hair. So there, I guess I should say the hair doesn't cling to them. <laughs> so essentially what I mean by that is that when I vacuum them or when I wash them, they're the perfect material that does not keep hair in them. Where if you kind of have seen, like if you get a rug from Marshalls and they're plush and they're great and you know, they're comfy, they hold all hair and dirt and crap. And so, those really aren't beneficial for me uh, with dog hair of any type. They've never been good, short hair, long hair, anything. So I love that this material does not cling to hair. The next pro is probably my favorite. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have bought rugs before, 
but the number one thing that annoys me about a rug is that it slides everywhere. And when you have pets, probably children too, they slide. I mean, it's nuts. You can't keep them in one solid place. I remember we bought rugs from like Target or Home Goods or something, and as they're very cute, they slide everywhere. And it's whether it's in, they're sliding out from my feet or they're sliding out anywhere, they move. So the best thing, one of my favorite things about Ruggables is that the mat, and I'm gonna show you that later, it just grips the floor and they never budge. So it's amazing for kids, dogs, heck, even me when I'm just clumsy. So it is awesome for that. All right, so lastly, I think uh, the last pro, it would be that it comes in so many colors, sizes, patterns, everything. Please excuse, Teddy. But it comes in all sorts of colors, sizes, patterns, shapes, everything that you can imagine to pick from. And it's just so nice to be able to pick something. There's gotta be something on this website that will go with your decor. So I would definitely encourage you. I'm gonna put their link down below. I am not affiliated with them in, in any way. So I don't get any of these proceeds. I'm just trying to help somebody else out if they've got kids, dogs, or maybe they're just messy like me. <laughs> Let's move on to some of the cons, okay? So a couple of cons is that they're a little bit pricier. I noticed it myself. I saw that in some of the reviews. Uh, it kind of caused me to hesitate a little bit, but they do have a promotion where you can save a percent whenever you just kind of sign up that initial that a lot of websites do, that initial percent off. That will help offset it. I do really believe that this is something that would be worth your investment because they have held up and they are so durable. I mean, I, I really do. I think that they lived up to my expectations. Secondly, the big downside to Ruggables is that they are not plush. I read that in some of the reviews and I kind of thought, well, that's okay. I'm not going necessarily for all that comfort as I am them to make the place homey, but also um, to give them, as you can see, a place to lay because they love laying on rugs. So I didn't really need it to be super plush, but I do feel like it's a necessary thing for me to include as a con because um, they've got two options because it comes with a pad. So there's like the rug, and then it attaches to a pad. I like that it does that because I think that's what keeps it from moving, but it's not super cushy. They have a cushy pad, which we actually got under this one, but I truly don't believe it's super cushy. Um, and so I just wanna say that as a warning for you, if you want to get a Ruggable. I got them for, I love the patterns, um, I love the durability and the ease of being able to throw them in my washer. So. Those are my cons. Now, let's jump to actually showing you guys how I put them on because it's kind of confusing when they come apart. All right, so here is what it's gonna come in and it's gonna be all rolled up. And as you can see, I already have the black mat laid out where I want it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the rolled up rug and you're gonna smooth it. So it acts as Velcro. As you can kind of see, I'm smoothing it out. And what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure it's as smooth as possible because that black pad grips to the rug. And again, the pad is what makes it not move, but it needs to be Velcroed securely. So you wanna smooth out all those surfaces. Okay, so overall, I give Ruggable, drum roll please, 4.8 stars. Overall, they have a couple cons, but all in all, out of five stars, I'm gonna give it a 4.8, so. Thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe below for more home decor tips.